What is going on guys and welcome to episode 17, season 3 of my Aston Villa career mode. Today we are starting it off at Villa Park in the Premier League against Stoke. Hi there everybody, we're at Villa Park today, Alan Smith and myself Martin Tyler. Uh, thanks for joining us for this game. And here we've got for you today Aston Villa against Stoke City. Villa team for this game. Adrian starts in goal. Matthias Ginter starts despite looking shaky in recent games. In attack, Christian Benteke starts. He's been in tremendous form recently. The Stoke City team. Here it is for you. Jack Butland starts in goal. Jeff Cameron replaces Ryan Shawcross, who's suspended. Mark Wilson comes in for Glenn Whelan, who's shown poor form lately. And it's rounded off the team with these two strikers. Stoke are always a dodgy team for me to come up against, because you never know what you're going to get from them. Like one Carlos, you're in form. Carlos, he's teasing his man. Carlos Hill, Carlos Hill. Oh, good effort. Right, go on, this is a nice build-up play from us. Zuccolini gives that one back to Kuwete. Can't quite squeeze it through. Come on, no goals for half-time, no goals before half time and you would just know it that is absolutely typical I always concede literally just before half time every single time you can guarantee it right let's go I change the formation to a 4-3-3 attack and let's try and get some more control in midfield and try and build from there oh what a ball go on Tyson so you want to beat Tyson comes inside Tyson on that right foot lays it off for Benteke lays it off for Kuwete it's deflected oh I had a feeling that was going to go in Oh, Juf has absolutely done my whole defence. Sue Clean is there to save the day though, let's go. I see Aaron's making that run. Aaron's, we'll have to try and use your pace. You've done absolutely nothing since you've came on. And they're just going to take him down, but they could have played advantage. He was about to get straight back up. Right, one last chance maybe. Benteke's there. Tyson. Come on, Tyson, get there. Tyson's still got it. Tyson puts it in there towards Benteke. Aaron's, no, why didn't Benteke lock onto that? Oh, come on. And that is the end of the game, we lose 1-0, that is a real bad result. Hi there again, Martin Tyler here, Alan Smith's alongside me, and it's Barclays Premier League action for you. And the match for you today, Swansea City against Aston Villa. Aston Villa, they'll be hoping for a better result today after they suffered that home defeat against Stoke City. Yeah, it was uh, a 1 0 defeat and a bit of an inquest afterwards. Uh, manager had a few stern words to say. I've got to say, I do fancy them today to win. This is Swansea City's team for you today. Rui Patricio starts in goal. Neil Taylor starts with Kyle Norton as the wide defenders. Nathan Dyer starts. He was man of the match in his last game. And just one out and out attacker in the lineup. Aston Villa team for this game. Alright, so this game comes literally two days after that Stoke game, so my players are just really tired. Juan Martina winning that ball back. Sees the Carlos Hill there, Carlos Hill, first time ball in, in Bolo can't quite get there. And that is half time, nil nil. My players are just so tired, it's hard to even create anything. Alright, we're going to change the formation and change the personnel out there. You know, you know, my main three players are just absolutely knackered and I can't really get anything out of them. So we're going to bring on Tyson, we're going to bring on Aaron's, I'm going to bring off Benteke, and we're going to bring on Sivokic. Let's go Tyson, let's go Tyson, let's go Tyson, let's go, let's go Tyson, that's what I'm talking about. And that has just lasered into the corner, unstoppable. Go on, go on Rolando. Coming on his left foot, Rolando Aarons, lays one off for Kuwete, one touch, takes a shot, Kuwete, good effort, test the goalkeeper. 
Oh, well up, Richero, winning that ball in the air. Gives it to Rolando. Aaron's Rolando, Aaron's into the box. Lays one off for Carlos Hill. Oh, there was the game. There was the game. And that is into the game. We take it 1 0, a massive result. Well, I know you, Euro League followers, will be very pleased we've got to this stage the round of 16. Intriguing, Alan. It is intriguing. And a couple of teams here, I think they can play better than they have done so far this season. They've got the talent too. Lille playing today against Aston Villa. Aston Villa, they're looking for another victory today to add on to their recent away win against Swansea City. Yeah, nice and tight at the back in the 1-0 win. Clean sheets are great and uh, the strikers can score. I think they will win today again. This is the Lille lineup. Vincent Enyama starts in goal. Jibril Sidibi starts with Sebastian Korsia as the wide defenders. Sualiho Mete plays with Rio Antonio Mavuba in the centre of the park. In attack, Alex Pato starts. He was man of the match last time out. The Aston Villa team for this game. All right, so the final game of this episode comes in the Europa League away to Lille. Now, I have a pretty weakened side out there because I did say that I wouldn't be taking this competition too seriously as we did only get in it just because we got knocked out of the group stage of the Champions League. But they have a chance here. A nice save. So, yeah, you know, my priority is the league. And in about two days' time, I think it is, we play Middlesbrough. So I really do need some of my key players fit because... The players that have been playing in the league in the last two games have been really tired and it's been real real tough to try and get a win. Oh, what a ball from Tyson for Dongu to chase it. He's definitely got pace to get in behind. Dongu lays one off. Munez there, 1-0. <laughs> Let's go. We had to go a little bit sweaty in this game because, you know, <laughs> these two players that I have up front, one of them is a winger and one of them is like a 70 overall, so I'm not really going to be breaking them down with amazing forward play. Oh, good play from Dungu, keeps the ball. Go on, Munier, you're in. Munier. Oh, should be 2 0. Should be 2 0. Nice little build up play from us there. Tyson still got the ball, though. We see Galloway. Oh, come on, Tyson. And that is half time. 1 0 to us. Really should be 2 0 with that chance that we had hitting the crossbar. Oh, Munier puts through Dungu. Dungu kills one. Good save from the goalkeeper. Oh, what a ball in. What a save from Adrian. Oh, no. This, no, no, no. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Come on. Why are you going to give me a wall when I'm 46 yards out? Come on. All right, let's go. Go on, Garner. Go on, Garner. It's not a bad one. Oh, Richerio was there. He was there, ready to pounce on that ball. And that is the end of the game. It ends 1-1, which isn't the worst result. It's a better result for us than it is for them because we have the away goal going into the second leg. We're going to end the episode by looking at the Barclays Premier League table. We are currently second. We are dropped down second for the first time in absolutely ages. But we're only behind by one point. But look at that. Manchester City are coming to the race. Chelsea are coming to the race. So there's like four teams here that can actually win the league at this point. And in the relegation zone, you've got West Brom, Cardiff and Watford. But well, that is going to be the end of the episode. So if you did enjoy it, I'd appreciate it if you dropped a like, comment and subscribe if you're new. And until my next episode, have a great day.